I spoke to Michael Kugelman from the Woodrow Wilson Center. He's deputy director of their Asia program. I asked him what needs to be done to make sure this dispute over Kashmir does not completely blow out of control. Well, I think that the immediate challenge for the Indian state is to figure out how to deal with the very real threat of unrest in Kashmir. I mean, as you know, there's been a lockdown in Kashmir that has prevented Kashmiris from doing anything, including leaving their homes. They're cut off from communications. But eventually, uh, India will need to ease its grip on Kashmir. And what happens then? You know, will you have people come out in the streets and stage violent protests? I would argue that the repeal of Article 370 could even be the spark for a new phase of the insurgency in Kashmir. How India tries to handle that, if it tries to preemptively hold, uh, fend off the possibility of violence or what, that's the, big, that's the big concern. The other issue here is Pakistan. How might Pakistan respond? Pakistan did not like India's move to repeal Article 370 because Pakistan has always claimed the region of Jammu and Kashmir. So the question is, what will Pakistan do? Will it try to use some of its militant assets to try to cause trouble uh, inside uh, Kashmir? Uh, or will it be uh, happy with mounting a diplomatic campaign to try to get the world to condemn India? That remains to be seen. But those are the two key issues. How will India deal with the, the very real risk of unrest in Kashmir? And how will it deal with potential responses from Pakistan? In fact, Pakistan already called the move reckless and illegal. A few weeks ago, U.S. President Donald Trump met with uh, Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan at the White House. And he casually offered to mediate mm -hmm. uh, the Kashmir issue between Pakistan and India. Um, India rejected it, in fact, seemed to be caught off guard by that offer. Is that a good idea? Should the U.S. president, um, not to mention his plate is a little full with many other right. global challenges, should he uh, try to mediate this? I mean, given the powder keg that Kashmir is, uh, one would argue that on a very fundamental level, Absolutely. Uh, you should have a third party offering to mediate what uh, is essentially a deep-seated dispute between new, two nuclear-armed rivals. However, uh, the U.S.-India relationship is a key factor here. The U.S. is intent on really deepening its relationship with India. And Washington knows that India does not want any type of third party mediation. And so I think that the U.S. has been very careful and will continue to be careful about not trying to appear to want to be a mediator. And in that regard, Despite the fact that Trump two times offered to mediate on Kashmir, I don't think that we should see his comments as some type of shift in U.S. policy. I think these are simply offhand remarks that he happened to make when he was asked about something and he gave an answer that he thought would flatter the guy next to him, who was Imran Khan. Uh, so I don't think we should read too much into this. But, but I think that for the sake of the U.S.-India relationship, given U.S. interests, I, I, I think that the the, the decision that the U.S. government will make is that it should stay quiet. And it's very striking that after India uh, announced its repeal of Article 370, radio silence from the U.S. government. You have not heard any type of public reaction at all. Interesting. And China, not happy about this either. Um, talk about their reaction and why they're not happy. Well, I mean, it's, it's striking that it took so long. There was an Indian reaction, uh, pardon me, a Chinese reaction that, as I understand it, uh, rejected what India has Let done. Let me tell you what they said. They yeah. said India's decision undermines China's territorial sovereignty. Right. And, you know, the reason why Beijing is going to be unhappy here is that, uh, you know, India's decision to repeal Article 370 did not only apply to Jammu and Kashmir, it also applied to other areas, including Ladakh and Aksai Chin, which are regions that, that China has, has claimed. And so, naturally, any move on the part of India to um, incorporate these areas into India proper, it's going to upset China, just like its decision to uh, incorporate Jammu and Kashmir into uh, India will upset Pakistan. It's the same, it's the same situation. We'll leave it there. Michael Kugelman, thank you so much. Thank you.